on behalf of myself and the co-authors of the new American Heart Association scientific statement on acute myocardial infarction in women. It is just a delight to share this information both with the clinical practice community and with women. We have heard over the years that myocardial infarction as well as other cardiovascular disease has been understudied and underdiagnosed and undertreated in women. And essentially, this is a state-of-the-art manuscript. This is a landmark uh, document since there are very few uh, guidelines and standards written specifically for women in the field of cardiology. In fact, uh, I believe the only one prior is a primary prevention of atherosclerosis in women, also by the AHA. Uh, across all of cardiology, we are increasingly recognizing the importance of sex in determining the pathophysiology of coronary artery disease and how this pathophysiology translates into clinical syndromes, uh, clinical treatments, and outcomes. In the past two to three decades, we've realized that cardiovascular disease while it remains the number one killer of women and men, used to be underdetected and undertreated in women. Now, because of our application of evidence-based therapies, as well as our increased awareness and education of the public, as well as the medical community, we know that the overall mortality burden of cardiovascular disease is decreasing in women. However, there still is an inexplicably high mortality rate in women compared to men, which is why we need to continue our efforts going forward in figuring out why this disparity continues to remain. For the woman with chest pain, often the pain will go to the arms, neck, back, shoulder, even to the abdomen. At times, they may be only back, arm, or shoulder pain, which makes the diagnosis more difficult for our colleagues in the emergency room. I think that uh, we as physicians often, um, when we see young uh, females presenting with chest pain, um, or palpitations, or uh, issues that may be related to uh, their heart, um, we may be more predisposed to saying that um, they're low risk, um, there's no need for further testing, um, and it's probably panic attacks or stress-related or emotionally related. Um, and I think the, the statement that's coming out um, really emphasizes that we should be very careful about um, really risk stratifying even young patients um, and make sure, making sure that we do appropriate testing based on their um, history and physical and the uh, presence of other risk factors. It's important to have the scientific statement that actually compiles 10 years of data to show the differences between men and women. We know that women have hormonal changes throughout their life that affect their risk for heart disease. In fact, high blood pressure and diabetes can be related to those issues and women with high blood pressure and diabetes are more likely to have heart disease than men with those disorders. If we were to have presented a statement like this 20 or 30 years ago, there would be enough for two or three pages of information. And the robust information that we have available to share with the healthcare providers and to share with patients is probably one of the most exciting parts of the statement.